Welcome to ZZZ TV. Kindly subscribe, share, and like for latest updates and news. Not standing today, speaking about economic sabotage by any institution or any individual. Mr. Chairman, we are faithful, loyal, and committed to the progress and development of this country. We are Nigerians. I'm not sure we like this country. We do not, Mr. Mr. Chairman. It is our duty to protect the overall interests of this country by the provisions of the law, Mr. Chairman. The Petroleum Industry Act, the Company and Allied Matters Act, and other enabling regulations and laws that govern the activity of the oil and gas industry. Mr. Chairman, we are not in breach of any one of them. Mr. Chairman, the NMPC is a company owned by over 200 million Nigerians. And I happen to be the chief executive of this company. And the law is clear around what the chief executive of this company will do. Our memorandum article of association, the Petroleum Industry Act, and all other enabling, including CAMA, which was legislation by this Honorable National Assembly. They are clear that the board and management of NMPC must maximize value for this company, Mr. Chairman. This company cannot have negative profits for three years. The camera said you can shut it down. Mr. Chairman, it's our job to protect this company. But it's also our job to protect other businesses around us. Mr. Chairman, let me be specific. And I will wait for the public hearing, and I also agree with my honor of minister that it should be broadcast live so that Nigerians will hear us, so that all the misinformation that you see today will be put beside, so that Nigerians will know the truth. And all of us here see what's happening in the media. Targeted personal attack on my person, on the institution. And we all know how this works. They are deliberate, they are calculated, so that create the impression that the NMPC Limited and our leadership are doing anything to create economic sabotage in our country. It is far from it, Mr. Chairman. This company has grown, Mr. Chairman. We are proud to say this. From a lost company for 43 years to a profit making company today, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, it is very clear from everything you have said through this investigative hearing, that you can see the majority of the issues you have read have nothing to do with the NMPC Limited. Yet, everybody believes, by sharing this information which my minister has highlighted, that NMPC is responsible for creating any economic sabotage in our country. Mr. Chairman, refining business is straight business. You must secure your feed stock and you must secure a market. This is blessing even for NMPC refineries. And this determines what happens in the refinery, any refinery for that matter. Let me talk, talk straight to this, Mr. Chairman. It's a private opportunity also. Mr. Chairman, we have done nothing to sabotage any domestic refinery. Any one of them. There are many of them. Some of them are small scale. Mr. Chairman, but there's a law that guides everything we are doing. Mr. Chairman, the law is clear. My colleague from NUPRC is here. There is domestic crude oil supply obligation. Yes, what it is saying is that process it locally, provide for local refinery, absolutely correct. But the law also says that there must be a willing buyer and a willing seller. It didn't say anything else. And perhaps the only way it can not be solved is for this National Assembly and I will not recommend this. Mr. Chairman, secondly, and more importantly, NMPC has nothing to do with imports of products that are substandard. It is very clear, Mr. Chairman, there are rules, there are regulators. We follow the rules. Nobody will bring product into this country that doesn't make specifications. If it does happen, it's crime. And it couldn't have passed any through any regulatory institution. It is impossible. We 
we all know what happens. Smuggling does take place. And I'm happy that the cost of service is here. No one can, de de can deny that smuggling takes place across our border. But for PMS and every other commodity that I can think of. This is real. Mr. Chairman, when the details come, we will tell you what we know. Mr. Chairman, I, I suggest also that you should be set, set like so that everybody will hear what is going on in, in, the, in the industry. And perhaps res, uh, responding to our uh, Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of Energy, we are engaged. Mr. So, Chairman, today this country is producing about 1.65 million barrels per day today. We have a clear target and a pathway, which is not just an NMPC driven process, Mr. Chairman. 